Hello my loves, happy Monday to everybody. I hope that this message finds everybody in high and hopeful spirits. I would like to thank everybody who is tuning in and who continues to tune into my channel every week. I really do appreciate the support. I do wanna start off by addressing the um, fears that are going on right now in regards to the coronavirus. Uh, I want to reach out and send love to anyone who is personally affected by it, although we are all personally affected by it because we are united, we are one person, right? And we want to make sure that we're protecting the people who are most vulnerable to this virus. I personally, if you tune into my channel as a spiritual leader of this community, it is my job to provide some positivity within all of the negativity that's going on to support to supply some spiritual upliftment while all of this is going or uplifting while all of this is going on so if you tune into my page i just want to let you know because i've had a couple people not attack me but come at me a little bit um i don't want anyone to think for a moment that i am taking any of this lightly or as a joke we have people who are expressing um or going through this situation in different ways. I've seen, you know, on Facebook, people who are literally joking about it, putting memes up about it, like it's funny. That's the way they're handling. Then there's other people who are very serious about it and very scared about it, and that's the way that they're handling it. I am not trying to lessen any of the things that are going on right now. I'm still practicing the best hygiene as I've always been doing and teaching my kids about that. We still have disinfectant wipes. I am, we are isolating, my kids are off for the next two weeks. We're staying indoors and we're socially distancing. I'm doing all of that, but at the same time, if I do post on any of my pages or on my website, it will be to the positive nature of what we can get out of the situation going on. People are like, yes, but I wanna face reality, but we know reality. You can turn on any news channel, you can look at a whole bunch of people who keep reposting about the statistics about or what happened or the negative statistics but not necessarily the recovering statistics if that's what you want you can definitely tune into that and that's your prerogative but if you come to my page i'm going to be talking about uh the positive about getting through this about what we can hope to look forward to after all of this passes because this too shall pass okay so that's the perspective i'm taking it's my page and i can do what i want on my page and you guys can do what you want on your page but but if you're coming to me, I'm going to be trying to lift your spirits, not trying to put the harsh reality in your face. And if that's something you want, then there are plenty of people out there who are also doing that. And you can definitely engage in those kind of posts as well. Okay. But if you need that positivity, that uplifting message, that's what I'm here for. Okay. So I have a couple notes. Um, uh, Psalm, it's funny. I'm an interfaith minister. So I find comfort and faith and healing from many different spiritualities and religions. And right now I've been turning to the Bible. I had uh, one person ask, are you Christian? I was raised Christian, but I do not identify as Christian now. I still love, believe in, and pray to God. I am a follower of Jesus, who I see as a master healer and a master teacher, but I am not a Christian. Um, even within the Bible, where I am finding comfort, there's things in there that I definitely agree with, and I'm like, this is awesome, and then there's things in there that I'm like, no, this does not resonate with my soul. I'm, I'm not for this. That's just my own personal religious practice. But in this time I have been finding, I've been doing Bible study, and Psalm 91 has been so very calming to me. I've, had, I've found so much comfort in Psalm 91, and it starts off saying, like, whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I'm not going to say the whole thing. Just look it up. Um, I'm teaching it to my children. It's making me feel just very kept right now and very protected. The serenity prayer is another thing that you can look over um, that may help you spiritually to feel just a little bit better about everything that's going on right now. Um, so that's where I've been turning to. Please feel free to look those up. Um, in addition to all this, life still has to go on for us. And I've been noticing that my prayers have been being answered. I've been told to tell you guys that it may be a good idea for you in order to reshift your brain and see the positive, to keep an answered prayer journal. Uh, you can keep your favorite scriptures in here or your favorite quotes, your favorite teachings, anything like that. Um, 
but the prayers for instance i had a really busy day last week i had to go to the social security office to get a replacement card for my daughter i had to go to cvs to pick up some things i had to go grocery shopping we all know how i hate going grocery shopping and then my daughter she um they think she has seasonal allergies so we had to go get a blood test for her blood run and my, both my kids are very very scared of needles and so I was like really the anticipation was getting me I'm like I'm gonna be here all day I know I'm gonna be at this place all day I hope my daughter doesn't freak out I hope she's not traumatized you know this that and the third and I just prayed about it and I went to sleep and the next day I woke up I went to social security office the day before I had went uh, it opens at 9 a.m. I was there by 9 10 there was like 50 people in there right so this time I went like 8 50 I was the second person in there I was out in 10 minutes I went to CVS, nobody was in CVS. Not one person was in CVS. I walked right up to the front, I got my stuff, and I left. I went to the grocery store, there was very few people at the grocery store. Everything that I needed was at the grocery store. I got my stuff and then I left. When I went to uh, take my daughter, I was like freaking, I got her headphones, right? I put on Unikitty, she likes Unikitty on the phone. I'm sitting there, I'm holding her, I'm like, oh my God, you know, I don't want her to freak out. The lady had the butterfly needles, the little needles for the kids, and I'm like, just watch the phone, it'll be fine, just watch the phone and when they put the needle in my daughter did not flinch she did not jump she did not say ouch she didn't pull her arm back and I'm just sitting there like thank you God thank you God thank you God I told her I was gonna buy if you just if we could get through this I'm gonna buy you the biggest cookie from common bond market you know we're gonna go we're gonna get you your favorite snack the lady finished and took it out and my daughter was like oh are we done I was like oh my god thank God I thought I was gonna traumatize her Everything ran smoothly, and I've been grateful for that ever since. I've been thanking God for that ever since. I'm going to write that down to show that things do work out. And sometimes it's the anticipation of things, of what could happen, what if, that really gets us more than the thing. I told her the day before because I told her we were going to get the needle, and she was like, no, 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 I'm not going. She was like literally screaming. And I said to her, Todd, I think that the fear of going is going to be worse than the actual event. And you know what she said to me? She said, it's not fear I eat fear for breakfast <laughs> and I was cracking up so she really does she's a strong little girl everything went to plan if we could think positively I think things are gonna go a lot more smoothly for us okay so that's just my story that's my testimony of how things have been working out in my life um, I do want to tell you because of everything that is going on this week I do have a few specials my tea with me is a 30 minute phone session a check-in session to kind of get you rebooted really fastly It's usually $60 for the 30 minutes. It's gonna be $45 in light of any economic hardships that anybody may be um, Facing right now. I want to try to do my part to um, Help anyone in that regard, you know, so if you need to check in if your kids, you know Your kids gonna be home for a little while if you need some adult talk or if you need to to vent and this is not just about this but if this is about your education it's about your marriage it's about friendships if your mom is driving you crazy and you just need someone to talk to but you know if you talk to your sister she's gonna tell your mom an unbiased person let's have some tea 30 minute session $45 I'm also doing a sliding scale for my readings for this week between $40 and $60 you pay what you can okay um Whatever it is that you have to pay between $40 and $60, I will accept for a reading because of any economic hardships anyone may be going through. I do have a new tarot reading menu coming out later today because I asked the tribe what kind of readings they really need, what kind of guidance they really need, and based off of that, I've created some new readings, so you'll see that later. And then I'm also doing, on my own personal altar, uh, of course I'm always, as the spiritual leader of this tribe, I'm always praying for you guys. It's my job to protect us spiritually. Some people may be able to donate financially. Some people may be on the front lines. You know, as a spiritual leader, it's my job to go through spiritual warfare for us. So I'm always doing manifestations of protection and safety and trying to keep us. But if you have any personal things that you are going through and you would like me to do a candle for you, on the candle I will um, engrave your name and your birthday and I will place it on my own personal altar and I will do a prayer session for any specific thing that you have going on, health, family, money, finances, home, anything like that, and I'm requesting a $5 donation for that. So those are the things that I have going on this week. Um, please let me know the how-to book will be in the description box, of, uh, description box of this video. So now let's get into spiritual guidance. Of course, this is a timeless message. So whenever you see this message, this message, oh, oh, cards, I, oh. 
Whenever you see this message, this message is meant for you. But let's see what spirit, let's see what God has for us today. What guidance is being um, given to us on today. Let's see. Please subscribe, subscribe to the channel so we can do these in a live setting. If this is a message you think somebody needs to hear, please share it. Comment below anything you may be feeling or going through right now. And I will respond to those comments. And like the video if you find that this helps you. Alrighty, let's see. What message do you have for us today, God? I love it. I love the positive energy. We're talking about positive energy. I love this. Oh, I like it. I like it a lot. Oh, I knew. I oh, my God. I had a dream that I was going to pull this Buddha Prepares card today. I knew I was going to pull this card. I knew I was going to pull that card. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I saw that. I had a dream. I had a dream. Like Martin Luther King. I had a dream. And here it is. Okay, so... First of all, I'm loving this energy. We have three major arcana cards in here, which speaks to the fact that we're all going through some major changes right now. Change can be a good thing, you know, depending on how you look at it. The first card that we have here, and I love this card, is the number five, Wishes Fulfilled. This is a very positive card. It's a card of abundance. It's telling you that right now, even in times of uncertainty, and this is not just going to be focused, this reading is not just going to be focused on like what we're going on with world events this is talking about like outside of that as well but this is saying regardless of what is happening in your world right now your resources will be met if you can look on the card there's an abundance of um cornucopias of food baskets there's fruit and vegetables there's also wine there is bread there's the ingredients to bake with flour and sugar and all this kind of thing there's also coins on this table there's potatoes back there there's coins on this table there's keys this is saying that there this is is a time where you can create new opportunities for yourself with the keys and the coins right this is a time to be creative in the way that you are making money so if you have a small business you may have to be creative you may have to switch some services you may have to do some services online or do some delivery services or things like that um, you may have to think outside of the box right now, but you are creative enough that if you do think outside of the box, you will still eat. You know, you will still be making money. You will still don't think that, you know, don't look at the outside economy. Think about what you can do with what you have, okay? Use what you got to get what you want. It's saying being creative and being abundant, okay? And it's also talking about, yes, you want to plan for the future, but worry about today, prayers for today. Ask God, what is it that you need today? Is it food? Is it love? Is it companionship? You know, what is it that you need today? Ask God for that. And watch how things come in unexpected ways, okay? But this is telling me that what you wish for and what you work for, it will be fulfilled, okay? So that's great energy. The five is also a number of change. So there's lots of changes going through, but it's like a breaking down of a system. So one that is better can be uh, raised back up. So things will be done differently. So some of you may be going online right now out of necessity but then after this all dies down you may still continue to work online or remotely or from home because you realized how like fruitful it was for you okay so maybe you never saw the way you know sometimes you may have to do like um, new forms of advertisement because of this and you never even thought of those advertisements but you see how much business you got based on these new forms of advertising that you're doing and now you want to stick with it even after all the craziness dies down. So just know this is a great card to start with. It's a positive omen telling you that you are well taken care of, okay? Then we have this card with the winter side up, okay? Spring is in like a week. Next week, I think the first official day of spring is either next Friday or Saturday. Don't quote me on that. It's something like that. Okay, so we're technically still in winter. But beyond the fact that we are in winter, this is talking about the fact that we are in a state of almost hibernation as a, as a um, state of introversion okay it's a yin phase 
It's when you're going within. It's when you're pausing. It's when there's this peacefulness. It's when you are resting and rejuvenating, okay? It's not an active energy. It's not saying go out and do. It's saying kind of come within. This is a card of meditation. Now is a great time to be meditating on questions that you may have on direction, like which way do I need to go, okay? It's a time of introspection. What is not working and what is working? How can I nurture what's working and how can I leave behind what's not working? Um, you know, because in winter, right before winter, everything is kind of like chill, you're maintaining, and then spring time, uh, in springtime, things start to bloom. It's saying get your plans together right now. Right now is not the time to execute the plans, but right now is the time to plan the plans. Because when the doors open, you know, when the door, because we have opportunities with those keys coming right there. When the door opens, you want to be ready to go. You don't want the door to open and like, oh, let me think and plan and I don't know and how am I going to... Now is the time to plan because the opportunities are going to come. It's going to switch over to spring and you're going to need to be ready to move forward, okay? So just go within, rest, take naps, take baths. Slow your pace down a little bit, you know? If you're always on the go, 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 now is a great time to kind of just... Do arts and crafts, listen to music, spend time with family, all this kind of a thing. That is the energy that you need to be in right now. Don't worry. Um, it will come a time when you get to be active again. But now enjoy this time. Enjoy just being in a calm, peaceful state. The next card that we have, I love this. This is the Divine Physician. Technically, this is Dion Chet, who is a Celtic healer, right? But when I always see this card, I always think of Jesus. Right? I see Jesus here. I work very closely with Jesus and my spirit team. I started off talking about how I follow Jesus, who I, I believe to be a master. He's an ascended master. He's a master healer, a master teacher. This is telling you we will be healed, okay? This is telling you that health is coming. This is telling you that answers are coming, that um, whatever you may be dealing with right now, whether it is headaches, whether it's skin problems, whether it's stomach, pro stomach problems, whether it's mental, physical, or emotional. If you meditate, right, you go within, you meditate about how to heal this issue. I'm really anxious and I'm really depressed. How do I heal this? Notice the signs you get. Notice the dreams you start to get. Notice the commercials you start to see. You may um, see medication that may be good for you. You may see going to therapy. You may be watching TV and the lady sitting in the therapist's office and you're like, I never thought about therapy for myself, but maybe I should go to therapy. You know, you may hear a doctor's specific doctor on the radio station. You may pick up a book or a book may be presented to you in some way where it's a new diet. You know, the pescatarian diet, the vegan diet, the um, gut healing diet, you know, anything like that. And you're reading it and you're like, you know, I could try this. Answers are going to start to come, but you have to ask for those answers. This is also energy healing. It's telling you to protect your energy right now. It's going to be very easy in this time to fall into lower vibrational energies from fear and from worry, right? And when you do that, not only does it compromise and lower your immune system, but it puts you at a place where you can't really manifest abundance of health, right? We manifest best when we're vibrating at a higher frequency, when you're grateful and you're happy and you're focusing on the positive and you continue to think what you need, they will come to you. But if you're angry and you're scared and... and and lower and you're and you're just saturated in lower level emotions it's going to be hard for you to attract the things that you need for yourself so it's saying keep your energy high um right now i know they have private sessions and i've been seeing like the reiki practitioners and the massage therapists who are going through the extra cleaning protocols and stuff um keeping sessions one-on-one -on -one. this could be you could also do distance energy healing distance energy healing is just as effective as in-person energy healing but as you see how he's putting that energy healing on this woman it's telling you protect your energy right now above everything else make sure that you're protecting that energy of yours okay then we have the three of keys this is called the chest game now, again, this goes back with this winter card here. Now is the time to strategize, okay? It's also speaking about the fact that you may be worried about 
strategies outside of your control or outside forces strat what is this that's really going on is this the government you may be thinking is this health care is this the economy and they're trying to reset are they is this 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 and you're worried about people strategizing against you you're worried about like the bigger picture again focus on the positive right um in your personal life, though, before any of this happens, there could be people who are strategizing against you, people who are more concerned with winning and being victorious. It could be a family matter, you know, when people are strategizing or plotting against you. It could be in your work where your coworkers or somebody else is trying to steal your accounts or somebody else is trying to purge one of, uh, or perch one of the people. Um, who you work with something like that it could also be like upper management who are making changes but not consulting the workers you know depending on whatever industry you work in they're like we're gonna do this and we're gonna merge this and we're gonna close this whole building but we're not gonna tell any of the employees quite yet um, so it could be actual strategizing just be aware don't be paranoid but just be aware that there may be some strategizing that you're not aware of like behind your back I have to warn you about that you know people but it's also telling you that now is the time to make your own strategies where start planning I was doing this today I was at a fork in the road about my career there's two things I'm very interested in doing and I'm like should I go this way or this way and how do I see this playing out and can I postpone this a little bit so I can focus on this and then maybe in five years or three years I can get to this other thing yeah that will work you know and I was writing it down in my journal this is the kind of thing you need to be doing like see your strategy see your life as a chess game always be a couple steps ahead you know not to the point where it stresses you out but it's saying whatever you want in life it's not gonna just happen you have to plan it some people there's gonna be there's levels to this shit right there's going to be like before you can do this thing you have to go back and get some education you have to take a class a seminar you have to become certified you have to do some kind of training and those who are willing and those who really want it they're like that's fine because I see this as a journey right Steve Jobs I think and I'm paraphrasing here but Steve Jobs is saying like it's the passion that keeps you going when things start to fail when money stops coming in when you have setbacks right it's your passion for what you want to do that's gonna say okay well I got knocked down but I'm gonna brush myself off and get back up right so there's gonna be some ups and downs on this road but if you plan, if you have some contingency plans, if you know that even if this way, if the door closes in your face on this way, you have another plan to go, if the door closes, you have another plan to go, it's saying make your strategies for your empire. What kind of empire, what kind of legacy are you building for yourself? Now is the time to think about that, okay? Because we have lots of time to think right now. So think about what it is that you want to do, how you plan on getting there, write it down, and take the st steps to make it happen, okay? Strategize. Then we have this card, which I promise y'all I saw in my dream last night. The Buddha prepares. And what is he doing? He's meditating, right? This is all of us as a collective. You see, we have the elderly people here. We have the children here. We have the middle age, 20 to 30 to 40 uh, year old people, right? The Buddha prepares is about taking this time to draw in strength, right? Before you move, before you take action, it's about taking the time to draw in strength. And this is also talking, it may feel like you're not doing anything right now. You may feel stagnant. You may feel even stuck in life right now. But it's not. You're drawing in the power. Like um, before the big event, like I don't know why I'm thinking of this, but American Pie, you remember like Stifler and he went to sleep, uh, the guy went to sleep with Stifler's mom and he was doing like tantric sex. And he was not um, having sex at all because he was drawing in that sexual energy. He was charging his sexual energy so that when the time came, he would it would be a huge experience. That's the kind of thing that's going on here, okay? You're drawing in. You're getting your plans ready. You're resting so that you'll be ready to go. You won't be tired when it's time to go. You're getting in the right state of mind so if things are thrown at you, you have backup plans. You know, you have the right frame to keep going, right? All of this is what you're doing. You're energizing. You're a battery right now. You're charging so that when you're being put to use, you will be on your fullest and on your best. That is what this is telling you. It's telling you chill right now. You know that sometimes when I tell you start today, after you finish listening to this reading, turn off the reading and go now, plan, do. That is not the message we are getting today. This is meditate, 
think about how that could actually work, meditate again. I was reading this girl she did, uh, I was watching a clip from The View the other day and this girl she made a formula, she was uh, suffering from bacterial vaginosis I think she was saying and she said she went to sleep and she had a dream and the ancestors came to her and gave her a list of ingredients to put together and said this is going to work for you and this is going to work for others. She said when she woke up she wrote down the list of ingredients and now she's a millionaire because she didn't put this company together based off of that formula that she was given. Y'all need to be listening to your dreams. Y'all need to be listening to your higher selves, to your ancestors, to the gods, to the goddesses. And remember, ancestors are not just in our immediate family. Ancestors are the people who came before us, okay? The Edgar Casey's, the the Teslas of the world, right? The um, Ram Dasses of the, of the world, okay? Um, you may be looking into spiritual teaching right now because spiritual teaching is going to be great direction for you. Buddhism, you may practice some Buddhism, That'll teach you about non-attachment and the way to move forward about how the only thing that's permanent in life is impermanence, okay? So now is the time to prepare. The Buddha prepares. It doesn't say the Buddha acts. It says the Buddha prepares, all right? Again, with preparing, we have Hilarion, who is another Ascended Master that I work very closely with. Hilarion is who you call on when you're dealing with anything that has to do with evidence detection, scientific research, um, anything dealing with learning, education. Also, those of you who are, see there's ghosts back here, spirits back here. Any of you who are getting into mediumship or tarot reading, any of you who are being called right now, especially in this time, to be healers, right? This is also calling all healers right now. If there was ever a time to step up, it would be this time right now, okay? Energy healers. This is all those who identify as witches and shamans and priests and priestesses, right? This is your time. This is this is what we've been training for, people, right? This is our time to step in, okay? You can call in Hilarion, who is um, the Ascended Master of Education, right? Researching, finding the truth, truth seekers out there, okay? He can help you with this. He uh, works within the Akashic Records within the universal mind to deliver. So he could be the one if you're meditating, right? Who you're meditating to could be Hilarion. She, show me direction, show me actual facts. And for you who are very fact-based, figure-based. Although I must say a lot of people try to find spiritual answers with uh, scientific means and that's just not going to happen, okay? That would be like trying to tell the time with Fahrenheit and Celsius or trying to read the weather with hours and minutes. Like, it doesn't work. You can't, you know, and, and, and spirituality and magic is just science that they have not figured out yet, you know, but some people are like, I need, how do you know? And what's your proof? Like, sometimes there is no proof. Not on a scientific basis. There's spiritual proof, but people want to, like, get scientific answers to spiritual matters. Um, there's also a great theme of material matters and spiritual matters. I was reading the Hopi Prophecy, H-O-P-I, which I've been talking about to the tribe since 2015. Uh, you can go read it again. Um, very relevant to what's going on. Um, so this is just telling you if you need education, especially to move forward in your finances, in your home, and your spiritual development, and your personal development, Hilarion is a great ascended master to call on. Okay, I, again, I work with him very very closely. Okay, another five. You notice we got two fives here talking about all these changes. Oh my god, three fives. Look, five five. I didn't even see this. Five five five. Guys, this is about change. There's change for a reason. There's a reason behind all of the changes that we're going through. You see that? Change and transformation. Five five five. Right there. Right there. I didn't even see. And then we're closing on the king of keys. Right? This is telling me that in the near future, I see us moving to a place of abundance. That's a good uh, the word that's coming in very strong, right? Because we have three keys in our reading today. We have the five of keys. We have the three of keys. We have the king of keys. This is about our home life. This is root chakra stuff, right? This is our home. This is our body. This is our sense of security, our sense of stability, okay? All of that is what's being affected in these chains. There's a lot of people here who have triggers from past life, from inner, from childhood, a fear of uncertainty, 
this is a major trigger, everything that's going on to trigger you to know that you don't have to see the entire picture, right? To walk out into the unknown, to walk out into the uncertain by still having faith, okay? This man is going into uncharted territories. A lot of you are afraid to go into uncharted territories. You had a routine, you had a method, you knew how to do what you were doing like the back of your hand. Now you have to improvise, you have to be spontaneous, you have to try new things, and that's making you uneasy. Please see this for the trigger that it is and realize that as these things change, so are you. You're becoming better, you're becoming stronger, you're becoming wiser, right? I'm stronger, I'm wiser, I'm better. Much better. Somebody needs to listen to some gospel today. Never would have made it. Never could have made it without you. Somebody needs to listen to some Marvin Sack today because that's coming strong in my soul right now, okay? This is speaking about travel because the horse here. We're traveling into new and uncharted territories. This big castle over here is speaking about your home life. You may be connecting more with family now. Things may be solidifying in your home life. You may be forced to stay in the house with family members who you don't necessarily get along with. And now is the time to confront the things that, you know, especially with this tra strategy card, confront the things that you were not talking about before, the things that needed to be said, that weren't said before. Now you're stuck in the house and you're just looking at each other in the face and you have no, no choice but to take care of these things. You see the red cape that the horse is uh, wearing, that's again to the root chakra. It is um, corresponded to the color of red. You also, if you look really closely here, I don't know if you can see it, there's more keys, because this is a key card, talking about more opportunities that we're moving towards, okay? So some people, I heard the other day that the um, interest rates have dropped to zero. This is about real estate. The king of uh, keys, he's in the business of real estate and management and business. He's an entrepreneur. He's someone who either is, uh, he's a workaholic um, or if he doesn't skate that line of being a workaholic, he's definitely worked very hard for everything that he has accomplished, you know? So some of you may be like taking advantage of this real estate market. Some of you may be refinancing your mortgages right now some of you may be getting into real estate because you feel like okay now is the time because after this all this stuff dies down i could be good in this industry something like this some of you are getting into uh when the time comes i'm seeing that some of you will be responsible for building up travel tourism again and trying like you may work in advertising and it may be your job to build that up again but i'm telling you something really good is going to come out of this situation and not everybody is going to be able to see it can i just share with you that i used to and i've never been formally diagnosed but i would say that i suffer from hypochondria like my whole life which is now called illness anxiety disorder so before the coronavirus was a thing before it was a media frenzy i was just worried all the time about catching an illness about dying and this had past life issues with me too past life connections with me too i was worried about disease and contaminated water and all this stuff and ironically as after all of this started happening i have never been more in a place of calm i was talking to my therapist about this and she was like i'm so proud i was like i'm not scared like i'm not anxious I've never been more at peace at this time. And it's so weird because it's like I know that everything is going to be all right. It's an inner knowing that I have. And so I feel like I'm cured. You know, I feel like I have cured myself. So that's something like this big trigger, seeing everybody panic made me realize I need to stop panicking the way that I do just on a normal basis. And so that's something that's positive that has come out of this situation for me. I feel like a lot of things is going to be healing of families. There's going to be healing of minds. There's going to be healing of spirits. There's going to be evolution there's gonna be unity built between us we're gonna do things different we're gonna think about our, our our neighbors who are our brothers and sisters we're gonna think about that differently we're gonna to start to care about each other more we're gonna make procedures to avoid things like this happening again and although we don't see it happening right now it may be hard to see it happening right now I'm telling you this is the labor pains you understand we're in labor right now and things are being birthed so it doesn't feel good. It's painful while we're going through it. But the baby, the new that's going to be brought from this situation, I'm telling you, it's going to be lucrative. 
I'm telling you it's going to be lucrative. So if you can just focus on that right now, and it may be hard, but try it. I always say in the darkest room, if you can find the flame of a candle and you can just focus on that because where you put your attention to, it grows. You can keep consuming and, and putting your attention on the negative. That negativity will grow around you. If you keep putting your, your focus on the positive, that positivity will grow around you. I'm telling you, it's uncharted. It's unprecedented. unprecedented. But you see the sun coming over that horizon? Okay, even in this card right here, you see the sun peeking out over here. No rainstorm has rain that lasts forever. It will eventually dry up. And when that sun begins to peak up and that rainbow comes out again, I'm telling you there's going to be some new ways of doing things, which is what we needed from the beginning. And this may have not have been the way that we would have chosen to go about it, but something new is being birthed, a new world, a new era is being birthed right now. So just hold tight, all right, guys? So take advantage of, of my services. If you need guidance, hit me up for a reading, sliding scale this week. If you need journals, because you're going to be stuck in the house, Metamorphosis is on sale on my website, www.madebyme.com for $19.99. I'm lighting candles and praying for anybody's situation. And I'm here if you want to just slide in the DM and, you know, talk. I'm here for you guys, all right? So thank you so much for taking the time to listen to this video. I wish you guys peace and blessings in this time. I love you. And remember that this too shall pass, okay? Peace. Bye. Later.